KHL fully underway. We'll wrap on this, and holy shit, we might keep it roughly an hour. This is unheard of. Let's like what what are the cliff notes? What do we need to know besides, of course, the line that we've already talked about on here being an absolute menace? Yeah, well, so that's I guess what's interesting is so KHL see the start September 1st. Uh so who's the Dinov has been on the same line as Mitchkov? Uh interestingly enough, game two, he did not play. I don't I didn't see anything he about being... the injury. Who's Nadinov? And Mitch Cosman been scratched too. So like I don't know what it's he's been on like the third line wing for them. Uh they're both actually about game. to sign three year extensions. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So like who's Nadinov has played in two of their three games so far. First game he only played eight and a half minutes. Uh yesterday only played nine and a half minutes. Um interesting. Didn't see that coming, if I'm being completely honest with you. Um he's been like fine. But again, he's like third line right wing. They're not really throwing him on the ice in like high leverage situations. So I don't really know what the deal is there. I want to be like, because like, like bro, Mitch Cobb's already uh, like locked in. Like, what do you like, you know, like, why are you scratching him too? Like, I, what's the deal? Um, so I don't really know what's going on there. It's It's been interesting. They're not really playing that great either. Like, so they're, the Ska's off to a weird start. But um, one guy who, as we were anticipating, is now playing a lot and playing very well as Daniil Yurov. Mm -hmm. um, interestingly enough, I think two of the three games he started on the fourth line, but then made a good amount of plays and has played, let's see, 14 minutes, 15 minutes, 15 minutes. Uh, last two games, he's got assists, so he's got a two-game point streak going. He looks great. And they beat Siska, and they beat Dynamo Moscow. Um but he's been all over the fucking ice. He was plus three today with another assist and he's been taking faceoffs here and there. So like, it's interesting because he's been going back and forth between right wing and center already. And I know that Minnesota has mentioned that they are interested in trying to develop him as a center. So how's interesting he trying to face that off, not, not great. Uh, that's fine though. Uh, <laughs> yeah, people. <laughs> that's all that matters. If you can't win faceoffs, you're a horrible center. Yeah, you're a terrible. Well, no, you're a terrible hockey player. Um, but this was the first, like today, the, this game was the first time that he was like rotating back and forth, like taking, like he took six faceoffs today. So, um, it's interesting. But again, defensively, he's already so good that that's why I think like he does have that high ceiling. But I think his floor is high too. So today, again, he was plus three with an assist, taking faceoffs, rotating back and forth. But like he was on the ice pretty much in every every big situation for them today um but again we said the coaching change plus after he signed um should make a difference in terms of any opportunity he's going to get and he's clearly in the mindset that he's not gonna uh let go of that opportunity so he's taking advantage for sure again he's got assists in the last two games looks great um and i mean he's been he's another guy he's on record as saying he wants to come over here so Again, it's all lining up for him, Husantinov, and uh, uh, Ogren to come over potentially at the same at the same time in the same year. So that timeline looks exciting and fun. And um, yeah, no, it's it's and you're right. He just he just looks great. So, but the guy that potentially will never put on a Minnesota Wild sweater, Vlad Firstov, is lighting it up. He like he played really well last year. He was like half a point per game of the KHL. He's got points in both games for torpedo this year uh they beat loco and they beat ska two very good teams of the khl he's got a goal and an assist like he's all over the ice he's a beast so i'm curious he's like if he just like stays in the khl forever but like it's so crazy that he played one game the HL goes fuck this i'm going back to russia and this that is lights like, it this up is all just isha jerk off fuel like that, oh, gosh, like this disgusting. whole episode, Didn't that's probably it. what he'll call it. Like, yeah, probably. That's, that's gonna be like you talk yeah. first of. Yeah. Like, it's it's too much. Um, but yeah, no. So I mean, again, who's up? Interesting start, just with what happened last year, how he lit it up and was like their first line center. Um, 
was like 20 minutes a night. And now the first couple of games this year, he's been paired with Mitchkov quite often. He's playing on the wing, not really playing a whole lot of center, not getting a ton of shifts or like significantly fewer shifts than he was last year. Three games in, I'm not going to like freak out one way or the other, but I just thought it was weird and interesting. Sure. Um, but yeah, you're off lighting up first off playing great. See what, if you ever you sure you didn't play. miss him just eating a fucking shot with like 10 minutes left <laughs> in the second <laughs> period in a the game they're up for a rep. Yeah. Right. Maybe, maybe that was it. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. Uh, but then another guy forgotten, Matt Bay Guskov, who looked real good a couple of years ago that he got hurt. Um, he actually left Siska, went to Ufa, and he's now getting regular shifts. He's played eight minutes or nine minutes. They played 12 minutes, now 15 yesterday, had an assist. He looks really good. Um, again, another guy, I'm not sure if we'll ever see him come back over to North America, but. Um, but he's uh, started off really well with the KHL too, and and finally just left Siska, and now is playing with a team that that he can play regular KHL minutes. So he plays a really translatable game. I actually really like him a lot, but big question mark as with any any Russian prospect. But does he love um, America as much as you love him? He well, he played in the OHL. He played with London, so uh, and they left like right by uh, COVID. He left. Um, wow, but it's it, a really interesting player, though. I just don't know if he'll ever like come back over. So still fairly young, so they still have his rights for a couple more years. But um, just worth mentioning because again, he left Siska is playing with Ufa now, and like they use him quite often, and he started off really well. So uh, the KHL guy is interesting. Uh, interesting start to the year for all of them, really. 